I wonder who made this mess. Huh, Luca? I gotta get some. Oh, you're recording. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, you can't open all the drawers. On the. We are going to Washington, D.C. this weekend to just like visit. And also, my cousin is over there right now. Um, baby, look at the quality of this. Ooh. You too, me? Perfect. Whoa. Look at all these diapers in HD. <laughs> look, 4K. Whoa, baby. Oh my goodness, is that my Toonie Pie? Let me see you. <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking. Hi, Luca. This is mommy's camera. This is mommy's camera. Um, I'm trying to pack Luca's stuff today. We leave in two days. And I'm trying to pack at least Luca's things today. Probably even some of my stuff. I just will pack my skincare and makeup last. I love you. Can mommy pack your stuff? We're only going for two days. Hey. Help me clean this up. Ow! Help me clean this up, diaper boy. Look. Yeah, we're only going for two days, so... I laid out some outfits for Luca. I want him to wear... Wait, what did I say he's wearing? Oh, I already picked out the outfit he's wearing there. It's hanging in the closet. And then the next day he's going to wear this. Coming back he can wear this. And then obviously I'm going to pack some extras because, you know, babies get dirty. He's trying to climb me for the camera. You think this is a toy? Definitely got a baby for this. You think it's a toy? I know, but you cannot play with this camera. I got these compression bags from Amazon. So I'm gonna try to pack stuff in these. I honestly wanna only take a carry-on for the three of us. Um, because we're only going for two nights. So I'm just trying to be very minimal. And then the following week, we're going to Florida. We're taking our first flight with Luca. So I'm just like, this is like our test Wrong run. <laughs> this tour. is like our test run trip Turisti. to see like how, like what Luca needs at this age. Cause the last time we really went away with him for a weekend was when he was like five months old and now he's 14 months old. So I, I'm trying to practice being minimal cause I don't want to overpack for Florida for the three of us for myself especially. I would rather pack a lot a lot of things for Luca that he might need. Oi, sweetie, don't put your fingers there. But I'm I'm trying to personally be <laughs> as minimal as possible and like just like recreate outfits with what I already have. Toonie, mommy got you that. Wait, I need baby, will you bring me the scissors when you got a chance? Thank you. I've been trying all of my outfits on for DC. I think I'm already done with that, but then I started finding some dresses in my closet. So I started trying that on to see what fits and what I still like. I ended up having the Skims dress in my closet. I think they gifted it to me, um, but it's a bit big because I think they sent it to me when I was pregnant. Um, and I actually never got to wear it. Maybe I got it towards the end of my pregnancy, I don't know. But it's a little big on me, however. Oh my goodness. It is the most comfortable material ever. And now I need to go on their website and see if I find it in any other colors and in my correct size. Cause I don't know, I'm not feeling the black. Look at how pale black makes me look. I used to wear black, especially all black, like all the time, like every day. And for some reason I've started gravitating towards like nudes and whites and creams, like lighter shades. And I feel like, it suits me so much better and i don't know if you guys have been on tiktok but if you've come across videos people talking about color theory and that there's certain colors that look better on you i've never done it i've never like gone on the website and tried to figure out what the my colors are
but for sure i actually don't think black is one of my colors i think it washes me out like i look super pale right now and when i wear other colors i look a little tan and i haven't been self tanning i kind of quit self tanning um however for miami i think i will get a spray tan but i don't self tan anymore and i think it's the colors that i wear like black washing me out so i'm gonna take this off i'm actually gonna hop in the shower i'm almost done packing um this is luca's bag i really like this compression bag this is my little pile Every time he sees the camera he comes running that's not for baby that's mommy's camera it's a mi camera baby mi camera oh <gasps> look oh do you have a stinky diaper <gasps> let's change your diaper bang Ay, bebe. Stinky, stinky. Stinky. We're back. I changed his outfit for his. This is his LOTD for today. Little baby got romper. Oh, were you going to walk? Why didn't you keep walking, baby? It says la camera. La camera. Uh huh. Bebe, pero con eso no se juega, ¿ok? ¿Cómo que mami? Ok, baby. ¿Puedo tener una? Oh, mami se va a estar con ti, no te preocupes. ¡Está loca! ¿Cómo que te dicen? ¡Luca, Luca! ¡Oh, man! <laughs> ¿Y esa carita? Mm. <laughs> Oh, you think you're gonna get closer to the camera, huh? Sneaky, sneaky. Luis, suéltame tu yaque. Que le preste tu ¿Qué fue? Ah, está bien. Es mentira. Ah, parece que puedo Pero estaba, porque mira, yo doy mi vida por eso. ¿Quieres hold this one? Gracias, Pepe. Sunscreen. Sunscreen? This goes on your little body. Hold on. Hold on, baby. I'm gonna give it to you in a second, okay? I know. Here. But you gotta let me keep getting some. We'll start with your legs. Um, check the Huckleberry app. See when he's due for a nap. Is that your bobita for today? Okay. I'm like rushing a little bit. So this is actually our second day in DC. We got here yesterday. Um, traveling with a baby is a little hectic, even a road trip. So I didn't vlog any of the departure because there was so much going on and we were just trying to get out the door. And we were actually like two hours delayed because the night before we were leaving, Luga woke up at three in the morning, didn't go to sleep until five in the morning. And then by then we were so sleepy. So we slept for like another hour and a half. So it just like threw off our schedule because we thought he was going to wake up around five-ish and we were just going to start our day really early. So that's that. Uh, last night he slept really good though. He woke up at like 6.40, which is so nice for us. And I went to sleep really early. I went to sleep like at 9.30 um randy went to go move the car because wherever he parked it last night it says that you just have to move it by 9 a.m and we're gonna go have breakfast we're back from dc i i was a bit delusional going to dc i'm thinking it's gonna be such a fun week i mean it was a fun weekend but i'm thinking like i'm gonna vlog so much and i'm gonna get so much content and 
No, that's not what happened. It is so time consuming and difficult traveling with not, I don't want to say difficult because it's not difficult, but it's just very time consuming traveling with a baby. Um, and literally that just took up all of my time from like the moment we woke up because we all would wake up at the same time to the moment we would go to bed. I would go to bed at the same time as Luca pretty much. Um, I just didn't have like a lot of time on my hands. I didn't have a lot of, I didn't have a lot of free time. I didn't have like actual hands free. And also what made it more difficult too was that we were in a, in a group. We were like on a schedule to get things done. We were only there for like two days. So I'm hoping next week when we go to Florida, because it's just going to be Randy and I with Luca, we'll, it'll be like more leisurely and more at our pace. Um, and I'll be able to vlog a little bit more. I did my makeup. I'm gonna sit down and show you guys all of my vlogging equipment as well as other products that help me film like reels and TikToks because I use my phone for that. I'm gonna show you guys all of my equipment for filming vlogs and for filming content on Instagram and on TikTok. I like to keep things as simple as possible. If it gets too complicated, I won't want to do it. Um, and I like my content to feel more on the natural side, but still good quality, great quality if possible. So I'll start off, I'll start off with like what I film for my Instagram reels and TikToks. I feel like that is my simplest setup. I just use my iPhone. I have the iPhone 14 Pro. Sometimes I use my work phone, which is the iPhone 13. I don't really see much of a difference in quality. I think they're both the same. So I'll alternate what I'm filming with. Um, so yeah, I just use my phone and I have this little tripod that I've had for years and years. It's a Bluetooth tripod and I use it to put my phone on here. As you can see, you just put your phone like so um it extends a decent amount and then it has this little remote here that you can remove you connect it to your phone and you can take photos yourself with this as well which is really convenient i use it all the time to take my own photos although i feel like i mainly just do videos now instead of photos i feel like i barely take photos use this tripod you can get it on amazon i'm gonna link everything for you guys but this is from amazon and then this light, I feel like everyone knows about this light. It's also from Amazon and it is so helpful. It's super bright. I'm gonna actually put it here. So like this is the footage with no light. And wait, why is it yellow? I don't want yellow lighting. You can put it, okay, so right now it's warm. You can put a cool warm or a mix of the two. This is a mix of the two. This is cool lighting. I prefer cool lighting. I'm just making it a little brighter. And then I'm gonna keep it right there just to give myself a little bit more lighting. But that light is super convenient. It's super bright. It's lightweight. You can just charge it. So that's that. Now let's get into what I use for YouTube. I currently upgraded my setup. Before upgrading my setup, I was using for a very long time my Canon G7X. This is the Mark III. I feel like the quality is pretty okay. But my only problem with this is that it takes forever to um what's it called why am i forgetting my words to focus i couldn't think of the word focus it takes forever to focus and a lot of times my content will be blurry because i won't notice that it's out of focus especially if i'm like showing a product and then moving or like moving around in general that's my problem with it all but it's very compact you can throw it in almost any of your purses it's lightweight she's a great camera a lot of people are using her to take photos now because she takes like really cool digital kind of like old schoolish photos so i'm gonna hold on to her and see how i like how the photos come out then i started using my sony zv1 let me go grab her this is the sony zv1 it was made for creators the really cool thing about this camera and actually you can do it with the mark III as well is that you can film vertical videos so if you want to film your tiktok and your real videos on here you can do that all you and you literally don't have to do anything except turn your camera this way and you can film vertical videos as if you were filming with your phone which is nice because you're going to get a lot better quality as opposed to filming with your iphone because a lot of times when i film with my iphone i don't use the back camera because i want to see like how i look so i end up using the front camera i'm on the fence on whether i want to sell her or not because i really don't need so many cameras 
and she's in pretty much perfect condition so i may sell her i feel like they're pretty similar in size the canon g7x and the sony i feel like the sony looks a little bit bigger because i added this lens attachment to make the videos wider and then it has like this little thing that muffles like noise and wind when i decided that i wanted to come back to youtube i was like i really want to upgrade my equipment and i started doing some research to see what was out there and there ended up being a sony camera that caught my attention which is what i'm filming with right now i'll show you guys i'll take a video on my iphone and show you guys but this is the sony i always forget the name it's the sony e no because i'm gonna have to look up the name because i cannot remember this camera that i'm filming on is the sony zve 10 camera it's a lot bigger than the other cameras I feel like the quality is insanely beautiful and then i purchased a new lens for it which i'm filming on it right now this lens is the sony e15mm f1.4 so it's supposed to be a little bit wider the cool thing about this camera is that i can purchase different lenses for it with these two cameras it's just like whatever it you can't purchase additional lenses for these cameras this is just an attachment that i added to this one but i can actually like remove this and like put a whole new lens on this and that's why i wanted to upgrade to a camera that i can switch up the lenses depending on what i was filming and it just lets me be a little bit more creative so i can buy different lenses the lens that it comes with the kit lens is really great as well but i wanted to get a lens that was a little bit wider for my videos and i even still feel like i want to go a little bit wider i wonder if there's a lens that i can get that makes my videos more wide than this and then the tripod that is on it's really cool because it's made of to connect with the camera it connects to my camera and i can press record on it i can take photos on it i can zoom in and out with it so it's really really cool i don't have to like press any buttons on my camera i can just hold it while i'm vlogging and press a button here and there and then when i purchased it I also ended up adding this mic to the bundle because it just it gave it to me at a discount if I added the mic so I was like let me try it I actually haven't tried it I actually so it looks like this it's like a little mic that I can add to the top of the camera have not used it at all so I don't know if it's any good or not um, but I was like let me just add it because it's gonna be cheaper if I just add it now instead of wanting to buy it in the future I probably should try it to see if it makes the audio any better but she's very compact I like that this little attachment is very light so if I added it to the camera it's not gonna add any crazy weight so this is pretty cool actually and then one other thing that I purchased recently was this little card reader I got this from the Apple store I can put my SD cards here and then I can attach this end to my iPhone if I film an Instagram video or TikTok or if I have some photos that I want to attach like upload right away to my phone i can use this and it just makes it a lot quicker that's pretty much all of the equipment that i'm currently using right now i keep it very simple i try to film in front of natural lighting like i'm doing right now when that doesn't work out i just try to use my little light here because she's very bright and convenient and easy to travel with um and yeah that's my equipment right now i forgot to mention for my sony cameras i also purchase back you know what let me show you guys as this is very important especially if you're going to be doing vlogs i feel like the battery dies so quickly on these cameras so i went on amazon and i ordered this little battery charger it came with two additional batteries for my sony oh you have you can do this with pretty much any camera just look up like your camera model batteries on amazon and it'll come up but i will link these if you have the sony in particular um it comes with two additional batteries which is very helpful because if this one dies i can just quickly swap it out put the next one and keep charging this and then this will charge two batteries at a time so very very convenient one last thing that i use for filming and this is pretty much when i film on my iphone is this little thing called octobuddy this is just a random case that i have that i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like but this comes right off you can stick it to any iphone case or directly to your iphone if you want and this thing sticks to glass so a lot of times when i film something in my bathroom or on a mirror or something i just stick the phone to the glass and i can film myself and i think this is going to be it for this video because i really want to get it up very quickly for you guys so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye